Hi, I'm Shirley Bond, the Minister of Justice and the Attorney General for the Province of British Columbia, and I'm very pleased today to be joined by Chief Lambert here at the Bay Street Fire Hall. And obviously all of us are looking forward to celebrating a wonderful Christmas season with our family and friends, but I've learned from Chief Lambert that there are some things we need to be very careful about when we're decorating our home or getting ready for the holidays. So, Chief Lambert, maybe you could take some time today and, and show us a little bit. Uh, some of these things that are obviously a significant safety concern, so maybe you could walk us through some of the issues that you're concerned about in terms of fire safety during the holidays. Well, certainly, Minister. Um, quite often, uh, many Christmas decorations come with electrical sources, and in the fire business, we tend to look at sources for ignition. Uh, I can tell you that predominantly, electrical overload is, is a key component of any source of ignition. Uh, for instance, we have an example here of uh, a six mm -hmm. plug-in to a one. We mm -hmm. find that they fail. Mm -hmm. uh, after some time wow. um, with electrical current passing through them. So we're asking people just to be uh, cognizant of that, make mm -hmm. sure they're not overloading circuits, and that they're using uh, approved appliances and mm -hmm. devices. So in other words, uh, don't plug in all your strings of lights and your, your, your blinking Christmas decorations, those kinds of things. Be careful about how you do that. And you can see there's some pretty dramatic effects if you uh, overload those circuits. So, okay, well that's something we certainly want to avoid. What else should we be careful of, Chief? Well, with some of the Christmas lights, for instance, when we get them in the box and the packaging from the mm -hmm. store, they come with uh, recommendations on how many strings should be on each circuit. Uh, quite often the lights are kept and the box is thrown away and mm -hmm. over years, we find that the, the number of strings put on circuits is in, in increasing and mm -hmm. increasing. Mm -hmm. And uh, to that end, what it does is, again, it brings electrical current or draw on these circuits that aren't uh, made to, to mm -hmm. handle them, mm -hmm. therefore melting them and, again, creating an, an ignition source. Mm -hmm. um, again, so what we ask, again, is people to follow the manufacturer's recommendations and the uh, uh, the uh, testing agency's mm -hmm. recommendations with regards to what kind of circuit load we put on our, our holiday uh, ornaments. So you can see this has actually melted the entire cord. So you can imagine if you have that on a Christmas tree or on your mantle, that's going to be a major uh, safety issue. What about the carpet, Chief? I see we've got some uh, well, major carpet, issues again, here. We, we look at um, extent, the use of extension cords again to power mm -hmm. many of our appliances and, and Christmas decorations. And what we see is we see carpets, um, wow. extension cords running under carpet. This is an example oh my of, goodness. of heat buildup that mm -hmm. melted the carpet as a result of a, an overloaded electrical circuit. So people uh, are trying to hide the cords. They yes. want their house to look really neat and tidy. And instead, they end up with a major fire risk. Yes. Wow, you know, I think what's important to all of us is that uh, we want to be able to uh, enjoy the holiday season, so we need to be thoughtful and careful about those things. And one thing that uh, Chief Lambert and I and firefighters across British Columbia have been talking about is making sure that we have working, active smoke detectors, fire, smoke alarms in our homes. So Chief, I guess we can end our segment by talking about, you know, if you need a really unique stocking stuffer for someone in your life, um, we know that uh, smoke alarms are actually inexpensive when you think about the risks that we face. And we've looked at the statistics uh, across the province. We know that working smoke alarms actually save lives in British Columbia. So Chief, I want to thank you for your work, both on the fire, uh, smoke alarm campaign, for the safety issues that you've brought to our attention. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Thank you. Thank you for uh, the invite here uh, to the Bay Street Fire Hall. And we want to encourage you, please be fire smart this, uh, this holiday season. Enjoy your time together with your family and friends, and make sure you're paying attention to some of these important safety tips.